This is a certified hood classic. Hello, how's it going? It's your boy, Robert IDK, back on another track. Today, homies, we are doing something a little bit different than what we usually do. We are not just doing your standard animation reviews. No, this ain't your grandpa's animation reviews. It's mine. Typically, when we do these videos, we watch long stories. But what if you ain't got time for that? I know, I know, it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. The answer is so obvious. Why? Shorts, my friends. Shorts! Hamanations! Shorts! Bryson has some legendary shorts. 73 million views! 40 million views! 56 million views! Classics. Classic? Classic. And it is time that we finally checked them out. We are going to review every Bryson shorts in one video. That's this one. Also, if you couldn't tell, uh, we've been working on the set here. Got some new stuff. Got this new long shelf. Got a TV that I will be putting very cool stuff on every time. Got this nice uh, art of me that I'm going to be standing in front of the whole time. Now, let's start. Let's start. Let's rip the band-aid off, homies. Let's watch Bryson's most viewed short ever. Well, I, I guess this is most viewed thing ever. Ooh. What did I do to deserve this? Let's go, people. Three, two, one. Boop. One day, I took a walk with Bo and I sneezed. And from that That's point awful. on, my back hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my back. After tolerating oh, no. the pain for a week, like a man, I finally decided to have a chiropractor come help me. I okay. laid down and he touched my back for a few seconds. Mm. Yeah, you threw out a rib. Threw <laughs> out one. a rib? Wait, what? It turns out that from sneezing, I dislocated a rib. Like ah! an old man. I didn't even know rib dislocation was a thing. I barely entered adulthood and my body is already deteriorating. So he fixed the rib and he adjusted my whole body. In conclusion, I've messed up my neck from sleeping wrong and I've thrown out a rib from sneezing. So I'm probably just one big fart away from death. Yeah, that's not how you want to go. Rib dislocation? Uh, can somebody say no fear unlocked? Don't say it like that. If, you, if you're gonna say it, don't say it like that. Hurt your neck from sleeping. I think everyone's hurt their neck from sleeping. If you haven't hurt your neck from sleeping, you are one of his favorites. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Throwing out your back from sneezing. Bro, I think homie needs a humidifier in his room or something. I, I don't know. A sneeze on that caliber, pretty spooky. Honestly, we started off strong. I'm giving that one an A for ill. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna be zooming through these and uh, giving them grades as we go, okay? Fun. Stop being so humble! Let's go. I'm so bad at art. Huh? Oh. Here's a little sketch I made. Just a little doodle. <laughs> I'll probably it's throw it away. Me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's not a doodle. This is beautiful. You're amazing. Stop, I'm not amazing. I'm so bad oh, at art. me, no. Say you're amazing, say it. But I'm not, it's just a doodle. No, Stop it's it. not, it's incredible. Now say you're amazing. I can't. Say it. I got you, Bryson. I'm amazing. Good. Okay. Oh. oh. All right, don't know what happened there, but thankfully the short cut off so we didn't have to find out. Honestly, Bryson is giving these people a lot of credit here. Because there's a lot of people who are like fake humble. You know, they're like, oh, no, I'm the worst. Bruh. You know those kids in class who they are, they're all, they always get A's. And then when the test comes after the test, they're like, oh, I failed. No, I totally failed. Oh, my gosh. But then they end up getting like, if maybe like 87, 90, whatever. And like, they're always like, oh, I totally failed. I didn't know anything. There was this one question. I just had no idea. It's like, stop it. Stop it. I'm the dumb one. Is that what he calls it? Stop talking like that. You make the dumb people feel even dumber. Stop being fake humble. I can't stand it. Anyways, that's my experience with that. And then I was like, you know what? Let's stop being dumb and start being smart. And so I started getting higher grades. And when I did, let me tell you, I didn't say, oh my gosh, I failed. I failed! Oh. You know what? That's a positive message. <laughs> I gotta give that one an A as well. Good job, Bri Bri. Haminations and Haru. Looks like we got a bit of Zelda. Yeah! Ha! Ho! Yeah! 
You said there would be rupees in these pots. They're all just filled with dust. That happens sometimes. Hello. <sighs> Whatever. Hello. Let's just check the next building. Uh, is he just gonna keep smashing everyone's pots? <gasps> oh my <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh no! No! Bryson! I think, I think that might be the darkest thing we've seen from Haminations. That may be the darkest, <laughs> the darkest joke he has made. Oh my gosh. See, I was just gonna be like, oh yeah, when you play Zelda, sometimes the pots don't have rupees in them. Sometimes you get nothing, but oh my word. Listen, if you ain't got it by now, then you just ain't getting it. If you ain't got <laughs> But let me just tell you this. When that woman came back to that building, she saw on the floor and she said to herself, this, this is, is the, the one thing we didn't want to happen. happen. Guys, I'm gonna give that one a D for dark. <laughs> Okay, good. Stay off the roads. Okay, fine, Bryson. You don't need to get so mad at me. Here we go. Hi, I'm Bryson, and I just posted a video all about my brother Brenner, who gets hurt all the time. But I neglected to mention how my little brother now has his license. Oh, the no. The roads are no longer oh, safe. Oh, no. Us. If you are within a five-mile radius of him when he's in a car, you are in grave Wait, danger. no way. And I can prove it. Here's a video of Brenner learning to drive. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. Hi. <laughs> okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait, my brain, my brain is not braining on that. My brain is not processing what I just saw. Okay, I met Brenner. Does Brenner have the same thing as Bryson where they look super young for their age? When I met Brenner, was that guy 16? There's no way. There is no way. Bryson and Brenner must have like the same thing. Where it's like, as soon as they like hit 21, they just like, all of puberty happens at once. And then they get six feet tall. And their voice just completely changes. Is wow, wow. That's, that's what I'm trying to process after seeing that. Oh no. Yeah, when I met Brenner, I assumed he was younger than he is. And now I feel bad. I'm, this, I, this is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Oh no. Oh no. The prophecy, the prophecy from the first Hamination video we ever watched is coming full circle and I don't feel good about it. I'm sorry Brenner. I'm gonna give that one a B for Brenner and Bryson and Brody and Brayden and Brittany. I cried over Connect Four! Wow dude. One time me and my family were on a trip in our camper. We were inside chilling and I was playing Connect Four. I kept playing with my brother and my mom. I continued cool. rematching them and losing. It oh. became a cycle nice. of getting more insecure and feeling stupid, which made me make my moves faster, yep. which yep. made me make dumb yep. mistakes, which made me lose, which made me feel stupid. I kept losing over and over and it was getting to me. The That's cycle yes. continued and eventually I just started crying. Over Connect 4. How and old were you? Kicker. I was 18 hey, years hey, old at the time. No. I was having a lot of <laughs> negative self-talk, I guess. Don't worry, I'm nicer to myself now, and I'm better at Connect 4. Hey, Yay, team. character development. Hey, Bryson, want to play another round? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't pull out the Draco. Sure. Don't pull out the Draco. Good, good job, man. Good job. Thanks. Good game. You did well, too. Oh, no. One time. <laughs> All right, that one's an A. That one's an A. Absolute slapperino. Bryson, I am sorry, my G. I am sorry that this happened to you. But Bryson, I'm telling you, homie. It's, it's only, only a game. game. Why you have to be mad? It's only a game. It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? <laughs> but yeah, that one totally slapped. That was an absolute slapper. A, it's a A, easy A, if you ask me, eh? I think that one's pretty good, eh? See, and that is a proper usage of A. Nobody says Canada, A. Eh? That's not a, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense, bro. So let, I'm just gonna let people know. My parents bought me this Canada A pajamas for Christmas. It's in, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'll be right back. Yep, here it is. Read it and literally weep. Literally. Canada A. Why? Why, mom and dad? I lived in Canada for 23 years. Why would I need 
a shirt that says Canada A. Ah! Oh, don't worry, guys. We're not done. We got the whole pajama pants, too. Why? Why? A lot of you guys may have seen this on my last community on a community post. I posted photos of these. Uh, by the way, guys, if you don't look at my community posts or don't see them, go to that community tab and like the post so you'll see the next ones. Like my community posts so that YouTube shows them to you. Anyways, uh, yeah, here's some beautiful pictures of me modeling it. If this video gets over 10,000 likes, I will wear those pajamas in a video. Ironically. Ironically. Anyways, slapper. The meme critic. <laughs> <laughs> Check this one out. <laughs> you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. Isn't it funny? Please laugh, please laugh, please laugh, please laugh. Come on, he doesn't find it funny. <sighs> I've already seen it. No! That is horrifying. That is every memester's worst nightmare. Worst nightmare! When you send the homies an absolute fire meme, you're so excited for them to see it because them liking the meme you sent rubs off well on you as a person. I don't know how that makes any sense. But then you show it to them and they say, You hear that boy? We didn't need to buy a hat. You hear that boy? We didn't need to buy a hat. My dad did what? You know how once in a while your parents randomly drop the most interesting piece of lore about their lives out of nowhere? Yes. I've known you my whole life, and you're only just now telling me that you were a teenage underwear model in what? Hong Kong? Why what? didn't you lead with that? I thought you were just some middle-aged white guy who likes making sourdough bread. I literally only just be learned me one day. that my dad used to sell knives, and he accidentally cut one of his fingers, went to the doctor to get it fixed, and ended up selling a set of knives nice. to the doctor. Take notice of the unimpeded blood flow and clear view of the finger bone. I can use you this only for get surgeries. incredibly clean cuts like this with quality German G2 stainless steel sharpened at a 20% bevel for ideal cutting. This is paired with wow. a full tank construction and an ergonomic handle. Wow, Throwing a lifetime right. warranty, wow. this is a no-brainer. You can walk away with this very knife today. And if you get the full set, I'll throw in a 30% discount. Can't argue with that. You got a deal. I'll take the one with your DNA on it so I can clone you and create my own salesman son. First of all, excellent voice acting from Papa Ham. That's what I'm gonna choose to call him in this video. Papa Ham. Yeah, hopefully the uh, the the doctor put that knife to good use, you know? Uh, that's all I'm saying. I, I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna ask any questions as to what the doctor may or may not have used the knives for. I'm just saying. Uh, doctor, I hope you enjoyed using the knives. Homies, that one is a uh, slapperino. A. We're giving that an A. For ill. Was this a crime? One time, I was at a farm store looking at some cute chicks. Yeah. Baby chickens, just to be clear. Oh, and okay. I told my brother that I wanted to hold one. Then, an employee who wasn't even a part of the conversation jumps uh. in and says, Um, yeah, you well, can't do you that. Can't. Now, I'm usually pretty good at following the rules, but their tone made something snap yes. inside me. Wait. You can't. <laughs> As the employee no. walked away, no, I Bryson, you animal, and stared daggers into the back of their head. <laughs> Bryson, you can't do it. Turns that. out, I can, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> the moral of the story is that you should only follow the rules that you personally agree with. You're under arrest for theft, arson, and murder. Officer, True. you don't understand. I disagree with those laws, <laughs> so I'm allowed to break them. Yeah, Article oh, 4, free point. inhabitant. We are not citizens of the United States. We are citizens of the Earth, so we do not have to... <laughs> Yeah, guys, that, just so you know, that is how that will go if you try to tell an officer of the law. I don't particularly agree with that law. That is uh, a similar experience that you can expect to have. Uh, so yeah, don't listen to Bryson on that one. Listen, baby chicks, I don't think you have to worry too much about, but I personally, personally think that it's important not to bother animals in stores or wherever. Was it a pet store? I don't know where he was, but like my rats, my baby boys are still a little traumatized from the four months that they lived at a pet store before I got them. And that's 
from little kids going in and grabbing and scaring the bejeebers out of them. They're permanently like scared now because they grew up in that environment. So I don't personally agree or want to support people touching animals they're not supposed to touch. So guys, that one for just for that reason, the animation was great, but for that reason, I got to give that one a C for chickens and chicas. Meanwhile, hey, baby boys, how are my babies? Oh, I see some bears. I see some bears. Are those bears? They are totally hidden right now. Right now, I would usually try to get them out, but you know what? They did some hard- oh! There's Mr. Mouse. Hello, I'll just say this to you. They Hi. did some very hard work today filming their very first, very first content for a big company. And I'm so proud of their performances, so I am now just letting them chill. So we will leave it at that. Goodbye, boys. Maybe next time. Goodbye. Wait for it. So if I do not find somebody soon, I'll blow up. Okay. So if I do not find somebody soon, I'll blow up. What? What? How? What was the train of thoughts? What was the train of thought that led to the writing of that video? How did? What? How did you come up? How did you? With that, it's very, it's very much a shame that Bryson had to blow up. Uh, but to be fair, he's made a lot of other people blow up in his videos, so maybe it's about time that Bryson blew uh, himself up. Because he didn't find somebody soon. Holy auto tune uh, on that one. If you want to join the auto tune kids, there's a spot available. <laughs> Thank you, my G. That one was nice, but it was a bit too short. So I'm gonna give it a C for shorts. Okay. Cool. Now, homies, we are going to get into a couple classic Haminations clips. A lot of these remaining shorts are clips from his videos that we have already watched, but let's check out just a couple classic moments that we can relive together, okay? Grandma broke her phone? I actually don't remember what this is. I recently visited my sister, her family, and my grandma. We were talking and she said, My phone screen has been permanently locked in this orientation for two Wait, years. Wait, I don't remember and I can't this. Fix it. And my brother Joe, I don't remember who's this. really good with computers, tried to fix it and told me that the only way to fix it is to factory reset the phone and no! delete all the data. No! Give me the phone. That's a okay, lie. Okay, but I'm telling you, you won't be able to fix it. There you go. Oh my gosh. How did you do that? Story of Joe my life. tried everything. He's really good with technology. Is he? Yeah. He's okay. really good okay. with technology. I don't think that was in the video. What? Wait a minute. So these aren't from... Some of them are. Some of them are from video... We have more stuff to watch. Okay, that was great. I would give that one... Honestly, I'm gonna give that one an A for relatable. Relatable. My dad will be like, my phone's ringer stopped working for the last three weeks. Oh yeah, hey Dingus, maybe it's because the ringer switch is, is off. Oh, yep, you're fixed. Okay, good, great. Rob, you fixed it. Yes. Yes, I did, Dad. Yes, I did. And it is this level of thinking that leads to the purchase of the Canada A pajamas. Dad, I appreciate it. I'm gonna wear them ironically, okay? Ironically. I've only been out of Canada for three years. I am not at a point where Canada A is cool to me. <laughs> I rate that one an A for Canada A. All right, let's see what else is original. Why would he do this? One time I was sitting at the kitchen table and Brody walked in. <gasps> Brody! Are you okay? Huh? What? What happened? What? Why are you on huh? the floor? <coughs> huh? I wanted to see how long I could hold my breath. Brilliant. Brilliant. He just collapsed. Yeah, guys, when you do breath hold challenges, uh, you should sit down or lay down. Some of you guys may recall, uh, but in the under the right conditions, I can hold my breath for four and a half minutes. I haven't done it in a little bit. I would need to practice a bit before I could get those numbers again, but I can. And I should film it sometimes. I, I've never filmed it. I should film it so you guys like know like legit. I should do that. Are British people real featuring Tommy in it? Here we go. It's Big Ben! Wow! It's Big Ben! Oi, watch it, you cheeky git! What, you having a laugh? <laughs> oh, bro! 
how you said it. Is that how you treat other cultures? That twit. He was having a laugh. <laughs> he was having a laugh. He was having a laugh. You cheeky git. Why I oughta? But mum, he was making fun of our accent. No, Robert, stop it. Stop doing the stupid voice. I'm sorry, British friends. I love you all. What percent? I think like 10% or n 10 or 9 or something percent of my viewers. Oh, British? I don't know how many of y'all are from when I lived in England and how many of you guys didn't know I lived in England for six months. With mess yourself? Um, I'm gonna give that one a B for British. Sorry, guys. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> look young. I actually do not know if this is an original or from the I look young because the I look young came out like two years ago. So this might be new. Hey kids, I'm your teacher for today. Hi, We're gonna Mr. learn about- Boys. How old are you? Uh, I I'm 22. You look like you're 16. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, not again. Not again. No more pain, please. No. No! All the memories come flooding back. Yeah, we're late bloomers in my family. It's just one of our quirks. <laughs> he got in the the pain of of all of the of all the misunderstandings and the pain of when he was misgendered over the phone. Oh my goodness! If you haven't seen that, if you haven't seen that one. That's this one where Bryson got misgendered and it was very sad and uh, very awkward. And I told a great story of when I accidentally misgendered a person over the phone as well, and then had to face them in real life, and I didn't like it. It made me uncomfortable. <laughs> and homies, this is the time. This is the time where we call it a day. We just reviewed all of the Hamination shorts. Booyakasha. I'm very proud of us. I'm very proud of us. This was actually a lot of fun. If you liked this new format of videos, please let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. Should we do more stuff like this? I had a lot of fun. Did, have you enjoyed watching Metal Gear Solid in the background? This is a really intense part. Never mind, it's a black screen. And now people, here is the whole playlist of Hamination's videos that we have done. If you have not seen every single one, check it out. Here is Bryson's channel. Him and his team did all the hard work. We were just being goofballs over here, but it was fun. And here's a video that YouTube thinks you will like in particular. Are they right? You let me know. I'll see you here, I'll see you there. Homies, I love y'all. Thank you for watching my stuff. Peace.